Jujutsu Kaisen is a manga that doesn't spoon feed the concept of morality. Gojo Satoru is a perfect example of this. As a Jujutsu sorcerer, Gojo Satoru is no different than a cog in a machine, twisting, turning, rotating, in order to simply fulfill a single purpose in life. At birth, Satru had changed the very balance of the world itself. Yet, during his heyday, Gojo spends his time as a janitor for humanity, killing cursed spirits, saving the lives of the weak. These mundane tasks occupy Gojo Satru's day-to-day -day life. As a shaman, Satru exists to protect the weak from the atrocities of curses. Non-shamans, otherwise known as regular humans, cannot defend themselves against cursed spirits. And so, it's up to shamans such as Gojo Satru to stick up for them, regardless of how he is supposed to feel. It would only be natural to defend the people who can't defend themselves, especially when you have the power and strength to do such a thing. The power and strength to save lives. However, in order to save a life, you must first value that life. It's such a pain looking out for the weak. Gojo Satoru does not value the lives of regular humans. Gojo Satoru does not value the lives of the weak. Should we kill these guys? If we do it now, I probably won't feel a single thing. No, there's no meaning in doing that. Gojo Satru wants to kill without reason. Meaning. Is that really necessary? In this instance, Suguru Ghetto had prevented Satru from murdering innocent lives. However, both Satru and Ghetto share the same sentiment. Gojo Satru and Ghetto are the same. Should we kill these guys? Nah, there's no meaning in doing that. When Ghetto says that there is no meaning in killing the cultists, he says this because he does not value their lives. Society should protect the weak and keep the strong in check. You see, Satoru? Jujutsu exists to protect non-Jujutsu users. Both Ghetto and Satoru believe that non-shamans are weak simply because of the fact that they are regular humans who do not use cursed energy. And due to thinking that regular humans are weak, Ghetto and Satoru would believe that the lives of non-shamans have less value compared to their own lives. Should we kill these guys? No, there's no meaning in doing that. Ghetto and Satoru believe that non-shamans are inferior. As far as I can tell, there's only non-shaman cultists here. The main offenders who know our side should have run away already. Ghetto and Satoru do not value life. Meaning. Is that really necessary? It's very important, especially for shamans. Ghetto does not value the lives of non-shamans, so he does not consider them worthy of killing. Satoru does not value the lives of non-shamans, and so he considers killing them without a second thought, without reason. This train of thought ultimately comes from the way of life that Ghetto and Satru had both shared. Spending their days as shamans protecting people with their strength. With that being said, as a shaman, the life of the strong 
only exists to protect the weak. As one who is strong, you must fulfill your obligation. The life of the strong only exists to be devoured by the weak. Fucking monkeys. If you are strong and live for the weak, then are you really living for yourself? It's such a pain looking out for the weak. How selfish, but it's self-affirmation. After all, there's nothing more important in life. Gojo Satru is a slave to society who cannot live for himself because he is a shaman who lives to protect the weak. Satru has become the strongest. Society should protect the weak and keep the strong in check. Society is made so that a person like Satru does not take advantage of the weak with his strength. It's such a pain looking out for the weak. Gojo Satru does not care about the lives of non-shamans. What's this? Kikufuku Mochi. This guy went to buy souvenirs? Even though people are dying over here? What exactly does Satoru want to do in life? I have a dream. I'll hit reset on the shithole that the world of sorcery is. Why would Satoru want to reset the Jujutsu world? Satoru has become the strongest. If the world was the way Satoru wanted, what I want isn't adoration, but to choose people. If the world was a place where the strong no longer protected the weak, the weak hide away the strong just because they're majority, and sometimes even oppress them. It's such a pain looking out for the weak. Satoru wants to reset the Jujutsu world so he can no longer be oppressed. Satoru has become the strongest. The weak hide away the strong just because they're majority and sometimes even oppress them. Satoru wants to take advantage of the weak. A hierarchy not based purely on strength is boring if you ask me. Gojo Satoru would be a king. What a disappointment. I thought you were the leader. In a world where the strong protect the weak, there has to be a change. This change will only come into fruition at the very cost of ambition. An ambition, a dream, that many individuals share. It's true, Sukuna isn't necessarily our ally. If he's revived, we might even suffer as well. But if that happens, the era of curses will surely come. We're different from the humans of this time. I'll create a world where only shamans exist. I'll hit reset on the shithole that the world of sorcery is. Gojo Satru shares the same dream as Ghetto and the cursed spirits. Together, they all want the world to change. Satoru Gojo has been deemed an accomplice in the Shibuya incident and is thus permanently exiled from the Jujutsu world. Furthermore, removing his seal will be considered a criminal act. May, it's been too long. Why is he alive? Did Gojo mess up last year? Are Gojo and Ghetto in cahoots? Not likely. Didn't he die? That Itadori kid? Well, I wonder. I have two conditions. One, if I yell, Abraxas, you'll surrender your body to me for one minute. Two, you'll forget this pact. I finally understood something after what happened. You're pure evil. I'll never 
lend you my body again. Oh, by the way, did you talk with Sukuna while you were dead? Why would Satru ask Yuji if he talked to a being that is pure evil? Talk. Any conditions or contracts in exchange for fixing your heart? I have two conditions. One, if I yell, Abraxas, you'll surrender your body to me for one minute. Two, you'll forget this pact. Um, we talked about something. I don't really remember. I see. Gojo, Gojo alone, alone could kill every, every human, human in this, in this country, country if he wanted, wanted to. to. No there isn't. You want to make a world of shamans by killing every non-shaman? No fucking way that's gonna work. Trying dumb stuff that you know doesn't work is as meaningless as it gets. That's pretty arrogant. What? It's possible for you, right? Sataru. There's, There's no, no way, way he would be that petty and join, and join forces, forces with, with Ghetto. Ghetto. Satru is using Yuji so that he can revive the King of Curses. Oh, by the way, did you talk with Sukuna while you were dead? Talk. Any conditions or contracts in exchange for fixing your heart? Um... We talked about... something. I don't really remember. I see. Satoru Gojo has been deemed an accomplice in the Shibuya incident. Hey. Why did you get repelled? I'm getting in just fine. I see. Gojo Satru and Suguru Ghetto will strive for a world where the strong will no longer answer to the weak. But at what cost? The innocent life of a youth? Just what will it take in order for their ideal world to become a reality? The damned soul of an innocent boy alongside the downfall of humanity in order to reshape society. The old men in charge of the Jujutsu world are playing into the hands of Gojo Satoru. Satoru Gojo has been deemed an accomplice in the Shibuya incident and is thus permanently exiled from the Jujutsu world. Furthermore, removing his seal will be considered a criminal act. Ghetto. If Satoru Gojo disappears, both the Jujutsu world and human society will be upended. And Master Tengen. But if Tengen-sama goes berserk, humanity will lose its standing, won't it? With Satru in a seal, there will be no one to protect the world from corrupt shamans, curses, and Ryomen Sukuna. If Satru Gojo disappears, both the Jujutsu world and human society will be upended. With Satru gone, the world will turn over on itself, just like how Ghetto and Satru want, so that they can reform society. I'll create a world where only shamans exist. I'll hit reset on the shithole that the world of sorcery is. With enough time, Non-shamans will be purged from the earth due to being picked off by the strong, which will cause society to change. If Satoru Gojo is incapacitated, and the world falls into chaos, the non-sorcerer monkeys will be the ones who suffer. Goodbye, Yuji Itadori. I expect much from you. Are you listening, Sukuna? It is beginning once again. The world of Heian, the golden age of cursed techniques. And in this Heian era, the strong will be able to take advantage of the weak, and everything will follow. Gojo 
Ghetto, and Master Tengen's plans. In order to create the ideal world where shamans are no longer oppressed by non-shamans. A world where the strong are no longer oppressed by the weak. You underestimate human rationality. You think people will kill each other simply because they got power? Being righteous? I hate that stuff. What? Applying reasoning and responsibility to jujutsu is what weak people do. Should we kill these guys? If we do it now, I probably won't feel a single thing. Nah, there's no meaning in doing that. Applying reasoning and responsibility to jujutsu is what weak people do. Satru wants to avoid using reasoning and responsibility so that he can kill who he wants whenever he wants. Meaning... Is that... really necessary? You underestimate human rationality. You think people will kill each other simply because they got power? Satru wants to kill people with his power. Should we kill these guys? Everything has an order. I would not make such an oversight. Your questions are starting to lack perspicacity. In the eyes of many, Gojo Satru can be viewed as a savior, a king, a god, who answers to the prayers of those when they need him most. Driving away the cursed spirits, and freeing people from their suffering by using his power to protect. It's such a pain looking out for the weak. Society should protect the weak and keep the strong in check. You see, Satoru, Jujutsu exists to protect non-Jujutsu users. However, Satoru does not want to become a god who protects, but instead, being righteous, I hate that stuff. A god who rules over the weak and kills them at his leisure. Within the new era, Satru will become king, but there is one thing standing between Satru and his throne. Ryomen, Sukuna. If you die, the curse inside you, Sukuna, will die as well. Our elders are cowards. They're making a fuss about killing you right away. But that would be a waste, right? A waste? There's no guarantee that a vessel capable of controlling Sukuna will ever come around again. Do you still hate Itadori? It's not a matter of whether I hate him or not. If we're going by Jujutsu rules, his mere presence cannot be tolerated. The only reason he's alive is because of Gojo's ego. So this was my proposal. Gojo wants to fight Sukuna. If we're gonna kill him, why not kill him after he consumes the rest of Sukuna? Gojo Satoru thinks he can defeat Ryomen Sukuna and obtain the right as king of the new world. Is he stronger than you, Sensei? Hmm. Good question. If Sukuna were to completely regain his power, it might be a little tough. Would you lose? Nah, I'd win. Could Satru be going in over his head, only to walk straight into death's door? Or could he defeat the King of Curses and rule the Heian era as a tyrant? Sukuna, at one point in his life, was once human. 
throughout heaven and earth. He alone is the honored one. Only his pleasure and displeasure exist throughout the heavens and earth. I alone am the honored one. Will Satru become the king of curses, the king of the Heian era, or will he lose his life trying to claim the throne? When I make this kid's body mine, you'll be the first one I kill.